In November, we watched, perhaps open-mouthed, as Abi's top flight return saw him thrash Takakesho and reach joint second. But how would his improved sumo focus serve him nine rungs higher up, against a tougher band of foes? Surely not to the extent he'd get 12 wins again, we most likely thought. But a certain sumo legend begged to differ. Having watched this opening display from the aisle, the ex Hakuho said, From the sheer intent in his eyes and his fine physical condition, I felt he was picking up where he left off last time. And on day two after this win, did Hakuho back him for another title bid? And how right the master was. Tobizaru was downed straight from the charge in a match I nearly missed, before injured Chionokuni, unable to charge, was beaten back badly. Hokuto Fuji, more equipped to hit, was repelled in much the same way. The long arms followed through with a bull-like butt. While even bendy, resistant Shimanoumi was spun round on the way in and trumped for footwork. The middle weekend, though, is the one Abby will rue for a thousand more weekends. A Saturday overcommit caused salivating Ornashaw to catch and thrust. <laughs> While an uncharacteristic slap served Horshoryu just fine when he slipped inside as his coach advised. <laughs> but I'm not bothered, the erstwhile prankster said. The former me took ages to reset, but the new me has already moved on. And when weekdays returned, so did the winds. <laughs> Miyogiryu collared, throttled and pulled a la Mese last September. Okinomi's double hand tug fled and repaid with one of equal audacity, bringing up the winning score by day 10. <laughs> then Ichinojo, stunned with a left made to retreat, then bear-hugged and backhanded in the same eye-popping move. And still he wasn't done. 
impressing even seated Terano Fuji with this headfirst strike on Takano Shaw that made him figure skate. And suddenly, yet better than November, was Abby joint first and facing fellow frontrunners. This Mitake Umi bout, Hakuho accused him of blowing with a hurried pull after earlier shots had scored points, if he'd just gone right instead of left. But it's testament to his reformed self that he put this behind him so quickly, Hakuho added. And I feel he will beat Terunofuji on day 14. Asked to expand by the Sumo Channel pundits, the record breaker said, Speaking as a key actor in many title races, if you lose a match like that, you loosen up and put everything into imposing your preferred style on the next one. Trust me, Terano Fuji will be the one to freeze, especially with Mitake Umi going so well. The mental advantage is completely with Abi. The man's astuteness is astounding. Abi not only won, but massacred the Yokozuna, preying constantly on that injured right heel. Had he taken match 13, he'd have had title point here. As it was, he settled for runner-up. Yes, matching his feat of November. Of his first outstanding performance prize, he said, Fantastic. I so feel I showed the real me. And I'm happy if you feel I'm more focused on my sumo, as that implies I'm gradually improving. Needless to say, I want to go on in this vein. That means fewer bouts where I'm subdued. There were a couple of those this time. That's where I need to improve. Normally, a prize-winning showing of this kind would lead straight to Sekiwake. But Abi's past indiscretions are still not forgotten. That signed retirement paper still locked away in the sumo chair's drawer. With Horshoryu and Onosho also scoring big, and Uda, Ichinojo and Tamawashi scoring eight from rather higher up, we will have to wait and see.